Good day everyone. So today's session is going to be on perspective views. This is actually a topic from machine drawing and related things that way from CAD. What's going to be given to you is some sort of object but not the final object. You'll be able to see what the object looks like from the front side, what it looks like from one of the side views and maybe the top or bottom view. Things that you need to keep in mind is if you see something from the top as a rectangle does not mean that it is always going to be a rectangle because even let's say a cylinder is going to look like a rectangle when looked from the top and at the same time you have to confirm that by looking from the front. So on the front if you see a square shape and on the top if you see a rectangle then you know that is going to be a cuboid but if you see a circle on the front and if you see a same rectangle on the top that means that is going to be a cylinder. So maybe later on down the line, what I'll do is I'll write down all of the formulas, not formulas, but just sort of things to remember like top view rectangle plus front view circle means cylinder, etc. So all of that stuff. For now, let me just proceed to the PDF. Okay. One second, someone wants to join. Okay, so this is what they're calling it over here, spatial analysis, but this is again just the main topic. The main thing that we're looking for is the visualization of all of these components in multiple views, which are called perspective views because they are standard. If you're going to take some random view from any angle, then that is just going to be a random view. But if you're looking at this from top side front, this main views, which are exactly positioned properly and are well defined, then those will be called the perspective views that will be provided to you. And you have to tell from those views what is the final object that you're looking at. So quickly, let's go for the example. So this is what you're looking at over here, but they haven't given us all of the views over here. So we'll have to read out the question. So instead of that, we'll just go to the practice questions directly. So over here, we have the top view. So from the top view, it looks like a square, but it has edges which means that there is some divisions that are seen from the top. So if you see this kind of black line does not mean that there's a cut over there. It just means that there is one edge that is present or you can see the edge from the top and from the side and from the front, it just looks like a triangle. So what is the final shape? The C. C option. Okay. Does anyone have any issues with it? No, yes, right. Okay, so I'll just explain how this came here. Wait for this image to come in. There we go. So when option C is given, if I look at this as my front view, let's call this F, this will be my top view and this will be my side view. So if I look at this exactly from the front, what I see is, why is it lagging? Come on, hide this. Okay, now it's coming. Okay, so from the front view, I'll see just a triangle because if you see nothing else is there, some options have given something extra on the bottom, but that is not seen on the front view. So that means this is satisfying the front view is satisfied. Just a triangle I can see from here. Same way if I look from this side, what do I see? Just a triangle. There is no additional things coming from both sides. It is just becoming thinner as it goes to the top. Now from the top view, if I see, I will definitely see a square because this is a square shape at the base. And then I will see these edges which are there. So these four edges are going towards one peak, which is in the middle. And that is why we see that cross shape that we see in the top view. So again, if you see the black line does not mean it's a cut. It just means that one of the sharp edges of the model is over there. So that is what they show you with the uh, black lines. So this is how we know that this is option C. That's correct. So now we move, move on to question number two. So your top view is given to you, your front view is given to you and the side view is given to you. Uh, 
So A is the correct answer. Option A. Yeah. One more thing you can do is in case if you're not getting you know the answer immediately or you're not sure. One way how you can confirm your answer is by looking at one view and checking is that view possible or not in the option which are incorrect. So let's say for example you are not sure if B is the correct answer or not. You can find one of these views where B is definitely wrong. So look at it from the side. B is showing you a shape like this in the B options. It's showing a shape like this. You see here. But here I'm having this straight part. This small straight part is not there over here. Look at this line. It's completely diagonal. There's no diagonal and then straight. So that is missing in this. This is why B fails the side part. Side part fails. So B definitely cannot be the correct answer. So that is one thing. Next, if you have a look at option C, let us again take the side view. What is the side view that you see on C? We see that it has the top. It comes down a little bit straight. Let me just make the pen a little bit thinner. So we have the top comes down straight, goes to a diagonal and then comes down straight back again. You see this small straight back again. That's right here. Goes flat and it gets connected to that. So this comes down straight back again is not there over here. It has to be a sharp point. So this is the main point that is going to say option C also has to be discarded. It cannot be possible because it is not a sharp point. Look at the difference. So now option C also gets discarded because of that. Option D, completely different shape altogether. We have this sort of shape, which is not seen in any of the views this straight part and then flat like this, this top part is not in this view at all. So completely in instantly discarded. <clears throat> so the only option left is this one because all of these have failed for the side view. If all of them had the same side view, then you might have checked maybe the front view is different or something like that. So this is by method of elimination or you can also simply just have a look at this and say that I need a straight uh, top then a little bit straight line then starts the slope sharp point over here flat and then fl uh, vertical line over here that is exactly what you see small straight completely sharp point back again to the vertical line so that's question number two let me make this full screen maybe Yeah, this is better. So now we are on question number three. So one test that we did was having a look. Does the side yeah. view of the option other A. options satisfy as per what is shown over here as side? Option. So first option, option A is what two people have got. Anyone else? Yeah. okay so all of you have said option a which is the correct option from this it's pretty obvious definitely not this because look at this you have these angles over here here everything is at 90 degrees so this is instantly discarded this also has a slope there's no slope anywhere over here in this all straight and horizontal line so this also is instantly discarded here and here in option a and c almost the same but you can see the proportions here you have a thin top straight small drop but here it's not small it is pretty medium and that is what you see in option a which is why we select option a so now next we have question number four first option okay we have one answer saying the first option let's wait for the second answer yeah, option yeah. Option so B. mainly we are looking at this option a option is not sl sliced off like this look at the slice B. here it is flat so the slice is only there on option b 
plus the other things because here you see look at this v sort of sharp v cut over here that is not there anywhere over here no v sharp cut is shown here there is no small piece which is with this uh long slice in the middle directly no, really solid so only option left is b here a it looks almost the same but there is no slice over here as this slice is shown here that is missing so that's why uh, b is the correct answer let's go to question number 5 so you can keep testing out from the side view if any of them fail this then if that's if all if there are more than one which pass the side test then you can go for front test or if front test is looking um, same on all then you can go for top view so we have one answer which is saying b let's wait for another answer b b okay so two b. answers saying b which is correct the way how we can come to know about this is first of all if you see this is becoming thinner and thinner we see over here all straight lines which means the slope cannot be there so instantly it is discarded here again again if you see again a small slope is seen over here but here no slope is shown so again this is also instantly discarded here in this one if you see over here it looks pretty okay but you can't make out with this it looks like it's getting slightly thinner over here and here is slightly fatter we see the gap it looks like slightly thinner and here is slightly fatter so the only option which is left is this one which shows solid and then solid means like no sort of you know slopes and everything is proper and it completely matches the other options as well i mean the top and the front so qualifies from all three so b is the correct answer Let's move on to the sixth one. Option A. So first answer is option A. Option A is right. Any other one or any other person who has any different answer? let me just keep this d okay so we have two answers now we have d and we have option a let me pull up the option d is okay let's have a look at it so immediately first two people said option a so we'll first discuss option a if i look at option a like this imagine i'm standing right here if i'm looking over here do i see this cut this is the front view so this is saying standing over here you're looking at the model and it has to be a cut over here in the middle right here this is saying what the front view is saying this has to be cut off but this is not cut over here so that means front view only is failing in this you see which piece is missing right this cut right here this small rectangle which is shown over here is this small rectangle so this is matching this is cut out and we can confirm this from the top view when we look at the top view this has been cut out and here also it is shown that some difference is there so that is possible but from here we see this slice over here which is not there so immediately option a gets discarded because this is missing have you understood why option a is discarded yes sir so this piece is missing in option a let us go to option d now so option d same thing will run the same test this bottom part is there bottom part is there so this is all good top view saying something is there on the bottom it is there but what is front view saying is front view saying i want a cut over here on the top this is adding more material so completely opposite of what the front view is saying So you see here, I'm adding material. This is saying I don't want material. I'm I need a sort of cut out. But here you have added more material on top, which is not there over here. So that is why option D also has to be discarded. So the only option left is 
option B and option C. So let's see if option C is satisfying what we need. So option C is giving us that we need a cutout at the bottom because here top view is saying cutout at the bottom and front view also saying showing these two lines which means something is there in this. Some kind of you know gotala is going on here. So that's what the top view is confirming that there's, there is a cut. So we need that cut over here that is there. Front view showing very clearly another cut over here. And the top view also is saying that something is there over here. Be aware. Which is confirmed on the front view that it has a cut over there. Does this have the cut? Yes, it has the cut. Now let's examine B and C because they look quite similar. This also has the cut over here and the cut over here. So how is B and C different? What is the last view that we have left is the side view. So when both of these are passing the top view and front view, we have one more view to confirm it. If you see the side view, only one side we have this solid geometry. One side is left open. So here also we need the same thing. One second, someone wants to join. So here also same thing. One side has to be solid and one side has to be open. In B is one side solid and open? No. Both sides it has material added, which is why B fails the test. But if you look at C, only one side the material is added and one side there's no material added. It's just open. From here it is just continuing straight. But here if you see it looks like a wall is there over here. This wall. Let me just draw it like this. This is the wall that is there but here there is no wall on this side there is two walls which is these two walls you have this wall and this wall that is why option b is discarded and option c is the correct answer so is this one understood so this one fails the front test if i just go ahead and draw which test they fail one second, why is this moving this? Okay, now it's working. Get rid of this. So this one fails because of this, which comes from this test. Oh, not, not because of this, it fails because of this part. This is missing. This one fails because of this extra wall over here, which comes from this one. This one is perfect. And this one fails because of this extra mass, which comes from this one. So these are the tests that we have used to check if they are fulfilling or if they are missing out. And this is how we came with the final answer. So hopefully this is now understood. I've drawn which test is causing the elim elimination of that specific option. This one is eliminated because of this. This one is eliminated because of this extra wall. Here we have this extra material added, which is not there. So this is eliminated. Last option, option C, which is also satisfying completely. Okay, so that is that one. Let's go to the next. Question number seven. So you can take your time and put each test case. Is it satisfying in the first, second, third, fourth? If it is satisfying in all and there are common people, then put the second test. Option A. So we have one person saying option A. Let's wait for another. Option A. Okay. So immediately we can see we can discard this option because it's a sharp point and we don't want a sharp point. Front plane is saying I want it to be slightly flat at the top. So D option gets eliminated. Again, front plane is saying this flat has to be exactly at the top. It cannot be somewhere middle of the part, which is why this is see this gap over here, which means this flat part is not touching exactly to the top. So this also is discarded. This one, it gets discarded because look at these diagonal uh, sort of shapes that it's ca causing these diagonal lines from the top view should be completely uh, straight. So we can see over here the T shape is formed. But here there is no T shape which we can see from the top. T shape is there. Here also no T shape because it's a sharp edge. So this is discarded. This is discarded. 
this is discarded final option left is only option a so we move on to the next one if no one has any issues so question 8 is now the one which you are solving option a okay yes, option a option c okay so we have two answers let us go ahead and verify what are the different sort of positions or the different uh you know views that are being followed and which are being disobeyed by some of the models so let us wait for this thing to load in and it should show up here okay why is it giving me this weird thing one second go back to this and then open this okay now it's normal so we have question number eight let us first take this test which is this t shape over here do we have the t shape in all of the models let us see this one has pass 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 fail look at this this is not a t shape it's just like some kind of you know half of a diamond but it's not even a proper diamond because no sharp edges so this one fails so immediately we see that this has failed means this is impossible now discard it completely so we have three left right now let us see what is the next difference so from the top view we see that we need to have this sort of a shape so it is wider at the back and then as it comes to the mid, uh, front it has to be becoming narrow and narrow but not a sharp point slightly flat so does this become slightly fat flat yep slightly flat so this is passing this one this one is also passing here we see slightly flat this one is also passing so top view all are passing so we have to go to the next view all are still valid so now the side view is saying i need a slope i need a slope going up do they have a slope this one has a slope here there is no slope look at this it's flat so instantly this has to be discarded so now let me just show you which are the two which are discarded which is b and d so now only two options left is a and c so what is the slight difference between a and c is look at this point this point is not going all the way to the top but look at this all the way to the top it's starting so now we have to open up the side view and see is this diagonal line stopping somewhere in the middle or is is it going all the way to the top so what is now the correct answer we can see from here that option c has to be discarded because this diagonal line is not going over here it is stopping somewhere in the middle which is exactly what a is doing stopping somewhere in the middle and this is how we can conclude that the final answer is a because this was failed and now i'll draw why they failed so this failed because of this uh, line was not only halfway it went all the way to the top so that is why this was failed by the side view this one was failed because this front part is not even looking like a t shape so it failed because of this front view and then finally this one failed because on the side we need to have a slope going up but this was flat so this was flat over here so this is what is different so this again is failed because of the side view maybe i'll just draw it like this so these are the different views which failed because they did not specify these specific things the only one which is specifying all is option a which is the correct answer so hopefully whoever had said c now understands the slight difference between a and c which is where this point is stopping is it going all the way to the top or is it stopping midway so is it clear yes yes okay then we can proceed to the next one so i think this way it's pretty good right where i draw which uh, test is being followed then you can easily understand so i think i'll follow that only okay so now we go to question number 9 d 
Okay, let's wait for more answers. D. Option D. Okay, so we have one B. Someone said B as well, right? D, no, no, D. D only. Okay, so we have D only. So I think we can go ahead and verify that, which is correct answer. Yeah, D. And the main reason why, for example, let's say option A or C can be uh, discarded. We'll have to find out from the specific tests. So if you see C, look at this thickness. Same thickness is being followed here and here. But look at the front view. It has to be thick and vertical one has to be thin, not same size. So this is why uh, this option has to be discarded. Secondly, if you look at option A, look where this slope is going. Full slope from this point to this point. But we want slope and then small flat part which is not seen in option a so option a discarded and option d is correct because it goes flat and then straight part is there so that's correct and option b again no flat and straight completely goes flat only and stops so that's why b also is eliminated correct answer option d which you guys got so no need to further explain let us go to the next one So question number 10. Option B. Let's wait for more answers. B. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve this now. So if you see option A has to be discarded because front view is saying that I don't want any material in the middle. It has to be completely see-through in the middle. But here we have this top part which is blocking. This It's making a solid sort of slab on the top but there is no cut in the middle. So that's why option A has to be discarded. Now option B and option C or I mean option B and option D are looking similar. But look at this uh, sort of proportion here it is equal squares on both sides here we have a small rectangle and here we have a larger rec rectangle so because of that we'll have to also discard this one finally option c has to be discarded because look at the front plane it's saying that the top part has to be see-through plus this middle part also has to be see-through but here if you see this line right here there is no small black line over here so if this was split over here the, there would be one more small black line which you could have seen which is not there which means this is solid over here and only the top part is made half so that's why c also is discarded so the correct op option is option b which you guys got okay so now we go to question number 11. C. Okay, let's wait for more answers. Option C. It's got a message on the group. Let me just check what someone has posted a question or something on the group. Okay, it is just Gyan specifying what we are doing. Someone sent a message. Please let me in. Let us check if there's anyone. No one is here, so maybe he'll have to resend the message or the, or the request. Okay, so we are option. Uh, which option did someone say C or B? C. C. Okay. Any other other answer? Anyone else? Let's wait for one more answer. Take your time. Okay, so people are still solving. Let's wait for one more answer. So you have to put each one of the 
different views and check out what view is making this to be discarded so which are options being discarded from which view is what you need to check okay so we have two answers option a and option c which means that we will have to draw the lines to explain how one of them is wrong let us wait for this to come there we go so we can begin with the first thing which is let's say we take these two views into account this is saying that it has to be all the way to one edge but then this one is saying i don't want the cut to go all the way through so if this front view is saying that it has to be cut top view is telling you how much should, should be cut like do i go all the way through then it will be like this the lines will continue all the way till the end or if i wanted to stop it is telling me it has to stop right only this much so what do we see here this is going all the way through the cut is going all the way through we don't want all the way through it has to be stopped middle in the middle so that's why option a gets discarded because of this uh, cut the cut in option a is going all the way through through all or see through uh, almost but over here we need it to stop which is not happening so that's why option a is discarded option b is discarded because it looks like there's a small additional block which has come over there which is not there in any of the views so option b is instantly discarded as well option d is missing this side cut side cut is not there so option d also gets discarded b also is discarded only option left is option c so if i have to just draw uh, which views are specifying which sort of actions why can i draw but can't erase now what is going on here uh, let's give it a second maybe i can just close this i can draw but i can't erase what is going on okay so basically for some reason it doesn't want to erase we'll come back to, to on the next question and explain with the lines but here if you see missing this part which is the side view here it is correct here we have this additional small block which has come which is completely not possible not shown in these any of these views and here if you look at your top view which stops in the middle but this is going all the way through which is why option a also is discarded okay great let's go to option 12 i mean not option 12 question number 12 maybe zoom it slightly that should be better for people on mobile phone it's b i guess okay so we have one answer let's wait for confirmation option b okay so we have all as option b let's see why option d gets discarded it's because of this small additional piece if you see the side view it has to be diagonal and then flat but here it goes diagonal straight and then flat so that's the thing that automatically is going to discard uh, this one also at the same time we have this block over here which is there but that's also here only so we can't get confused whether the block is over a here option is. okay so we have two questions uh, two answers then we'll have to uh, put all the lines and draw it out let this thing take a second wait for this yeah okay so now let's go with option d why it's wrong so if you see from the side we have this bottom part and then at the top it just goes fl flat oh, i mean not flat uh diagonal and then flat but here it goes on the top side it goes diagonal straight and then flat so and the area where it's going diagonal and then flat that is where we need 
the sort of cutout to be so you can't get confused whether this is the top or this is the top because here it is showing that whichever side is this flat part that we are considering that is where this cutout is there so the cutout is over here which means this is the area where it's supposed to be like this it's supposed to be going flat i can't even draw that diagonal diagonal and then flat but if you see we have the straight in the middle so option d immediately discarded let us move on to option c option c pretty obvious why we have to discard there is no hole cut out at all hole cut out is missing so instantly discarded let us move on to option a now so option b let's just check if everything is good side shape looks good the cutout is there the area where the cutout is there it goes straight into the uh, flat part so if i look at it you know when this thing is sitting down this will be considered the flat part and then this is the slope part so here it is rotated in a weird way which is why this is looking like a vertical uh, line but here if we compare it it's the same uh, flat part with this diagonal which is the same diagonal part with this flat part so that's why b is correct as of now and then a if you go and see let's have a look at a so if we see over here we need to have a base there is no base only over here this base has shown solid base at the bottom there is no base at all you can look at this the base is shown over here but there is no base do you understand why a is discarded this solid yes. base is missing yeah. if you see here there is a solid base and a solid base if i color the solid base so these are the two solid bases which are seen but here there's only one solid base this side the solid base is missing so if i now go ahead and draw which view is discarding what of the specific drawings so here this specific uh, shape and this specific shape are not matching which is why this option d is discarded by the side view one second get rid of this option d is discarded by the side view this one has no hole cut out so option c is discarded by the front view option b is correct and option a has no base over here which is also shown inside the front view this bottom base right here so that is why we have to discard option a as well which means the correct option a i mean the correct option is option b so is this understood by everyone so sh i've shown you which view is discarding which of the options and why so can we proceed the person who had said a yes you can okay so that was 12 let's go to 13 option a okay so we have one one answer option b i guess okay so option b so we have two answers let's just have a look at it let me again and copy this part a so a and b are the options that we are getting let us have a look wait for this to load Okay. What failed to open? Let's try that again. Okay. Now we have it here. So immediately from the front view, we need a circle. No circle over here. which means option d is instantly discarded we don't even have to think about it anymore next we come to this one option c so in option c we see that we have a additional sort of coin structure coming outside so 
option C is showing that there is something coming out. But if I look from the side view, there should be nothing coming out. There is nothing over here, completely flat. It has to be as just a straight path going up. So that is why option C is also discarded because of this additional coin structure coming out. So option C is also discarded. Here it is discarded because no center cutout. Now let us have a look at option A and option B. So if we see option B, we have the same sort of structure, which is one is a flat thing and one has the sort of arc over here with the hole cut out and here also same thing. But the difference is look at the proportions. When we look at this from the side, this length and this length is not the same. So whichever side is longer is where we have this hole. So the hole is on the longer side. So which one of these are giving us the hole on the longer side and the side which is short should be without the hole. So here we see this is a longer side, but hole is on the opposite side. Hole should have been over here, the longer side. In this one, which is longer, this is longer and this is shorter. Hole is on the longer side, which is correct. And that is why option A is correct and option B gets failed because of the proportion. The hole is there, but it is on the short side. We need the hole on the longer side. So if I mark out now why they are sort of out. So option D gets failed because of this hole is not there. Option C gets failed because it has an additional coin shape coming outside like a small cylinder coming out. But option C is saying it has to be completely flat on both sides. So immediately option C gets discarded. Option B and option A are almost the same. But look at the proportions. Option C, uh, I mean not option C. The side view is saying that the longer side is where this front hole should be. So the hole should be exactly matching up over here. So this is what is the longer side. So is this the longer side? Yes. No hole. So again, this is going to be cut out due to the first option, which is hole is not there on the correct side. Hole is there, but over here, which is on the wrong side. So hole is missing on the longer side. Let me just put a L over here. So that is why option B also. Is option A, where is the side view is not correct? Which side view? Uh, of option A. a? Side view is not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's now just focus on option A. So this is all understood why these are all incorrect. Okay. Let's okay, okay. get rid of all of this stuff. So now if we look at option A, we see that the base is a rectangular shape, which is this part. Okay. And on the side view, we have this shape over here, which takes a bend yes. in the front view. But if I look at this from the yeah. side, I'm just going to see a rectangle like this. Yeah. So uh, what were you saying that uh, this one is not satisfying the side view? Like which part was confusing? Uh, on the side view. Yeah, I can add in that. I can add this. Like huh. uh, Gulsan, you can consider this like projecting a light. If you pass a light in the front uh, in A, so imagine that the what for the what is the figure that you will get on wall. You will get the same rectangular shape on wall. Yes. That curve, yes. the upper curve part, you will not get. You are getting yes. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. What we can do is to even confirm whether A is this side view. We can even open up uh, SolidWorks over here and just have a look at it. So let me just open up SOLIDWORKS here. So let us get this model made and then we can see the top view, front view and side view to confirm. So let this thing load up. In the meantime, we know why these are discarded. So I'll just keep a X marks on those. So we don't even have to worry about those. We're just thinking about option A and the side view. So give it a second, let this thing load. So in the exam, you won't have the luxury of opening a CAD software, drawing this and confirming. But here, just to understand how this sort of loop shape 
does not come in when we look from the side views what i can show you what's the status on this still loading in okay let's wait okay okay looks like it's almost done so let us remember this we have a short rectangle here followed by this long loop and a large circle okay okay so now it's popped up here let us just click on new part file and wait for it to come up so right now it's a little bit slow because of the recording as well but we can manage that okay so i'm just going to quickly draw the same shape that we see right click this come on load okay now it is finally loaded so we just need a rectangle at the bottom small rectangle then let's go ahead and extrude this out slightly fatter let's say this much then over here we need to have that large loop structure so how does a loop go straight and then loop okay so it goes straight then it goes into a loop too huge but okay this is the correct size stops here and then touches here and then this line has to be straight and this has to be tangent if you see there's no sharp edge it has to be nice and smooth like this and then here we also need the small circle cut out this can be slightly bigger maybe this gets extrude boss not on the that side on this side okay so now we have created sort of the same shape but it's a little bit huge let me go on this and make this just a little bit smaller okay so now we sort of have the same shape that we have over there and let us now go and see what happens if you look at it from this view so if i go from this view you can have a look what is happening so right now it's looking exactly uh, how we have it on the question which is like this right yeah like this yeah and look what happens the moment i start going to the side view so side view is coming now look how your this top arc which is there starting to get hidden and becomes just a rectangle when i look at it like this okay good so if you see right here this looks just like a exact rectangle and the other yeah. views are as they are so if you see right here this small black line is again shown over here as this small line over here and top view is again just a small line at the top so we have confirmed this using cad also that the side view is correct everything is correct we can close this and now we have understood how a is the correct answer from all possible views okay let's go to question number 14 so it has some complex cuts so you'll have to take your time on that option a okay we have one answer as a it's a okay so everyone says a let's confirm it so option d can't be the answer because even though this side view shape looks correct on the front view we have this l shape that is not there it has this weird shape there's no l on the front 
option c problem is if you look at it from the front and from the top this side has to be nice and even but here if you see this front part is come extra outside which is why c also is discarded option b the side view only is wrong this is all straight it needs to have this diagonal cut which is not there in option b on the side so correct option left is option a which is the correct answer that you guys saw pretty quick let's go to question number 15 c okay we have one person a. saying c and a. a let us wait for any other answers or is it just c and a so in the meantime let me go ahead and draw this out so by the time this processes you guys have any other questions in terms of not questions but in terms of answers any other answers or just option c and option a then we can discuss that so let me go here and this is ready so let's click on that wait for this okay so now we can discuss this one so first things first is from the side this is saying that there has to be a small groove cut out and there has to be a flat part or the solid part over here so solid part is over here and then there's a slight groove over here so let's see if this is being followed here we have a groove check mark here we have a groove check mark here we have a groove check mark here there's no groove so immediately option d gets discarded let us move to the next thing so wipe this out okay next is the base of this groove part has to be perfectly flat but look what option b is doing it's giving us this diagonal line over here so that is why option b is instantly discarded look at this diagonal line it has to be completely flat as per the side view but here it is going up on the bottom so option b is also mm -hmm. discarded so now we are left with two options option a and option c so if we look at option c from the top top view is saying i need an eye shape do we see the eye shape over here top part of the eye shape no. is there but bottom part is missing bottom part of the eye shape is missing right here so there's no bottom eye shape which is why c gets also discarded so now finally at the end of the day if i have to draw why each of the views are being discarded let us go ahead and see so this one had no groove so groove comes from side view then we have uh, one second not that oh don't tell me it got stuck again on me so then we have option c which is because of this i over here so that comes from the top view option b has this slope which again comes from the side view so it's not allowing me to erase anything but these are basically the faults so correct option is option a why does it get stuck like this i can't really understand that too much load with google meet and everything okay so let's go to question number 16. C. Okay, we have one answer. Let's see. Two answers. So let's us go ahead and confirm. So A is saying that it has this weird shape, but front plane is saying I want to get this inverted T shape. Is it there over here? Not there. A instantly discarded. Yeah. Is it there over here? Not there. Instantly discarded. So A and D are discarded just because this front T shape is not there. A does not even have the top T shape, so double sort of discarded. Don't even think about it. Next, the difference is between B and C. Side view is saying I want it to be a slope on the side, but B is giving me sharp edges. So, correct answer C. That was a quite easy one. Let us move on to number 17. D. Option D. 17, we have one answer as D.
answer D. Okay, so everyone is saying D. Let us verify that. Here we have the top is looking different. It has to be smooth over here, but this is sharp edges. So C is discarded. Here also it has it's to be... A. Okay, so we have two A and uh, D. So we'll have to draw it out then. Give this a second to load and cut this out. Then wait for it to pop out. Sorry, it's D. It's a Okay, D only. Okay. In that yeah. case, we don't have to draw it. Where is question number 70? Yeah. So here, um, C is discarded because the top is completely different. Sharp edges. B also sharp edges. So discarded from the top view. Now, the difference between A and D are the proportions. If we look from the side view, the side view is this part, this part. And it's saying that the top has to be like this. So the short part is where the base of this piece is where the thing is happening and then it goes all the way down the long part with the side view looking like this that is exactly what d is showing us but if you see on a the part which is become smooth is not this small thing over here they have made this large part of the front view as the smooth part so this is not what the front view is saying front view is saying i need to see it straight edges which is from here here we see straight edges so that's correct for d so we have to discard option a so now we move on to question number 18 it's a let's wait for more answers yes option a so option a is what we get so it looks like everyone is getting this one correct without any confusions so if we see d immediately discarded because from the side view this diagonal part should not come and touch the bottom slight gap is there from the bottom slightly higher but if you look at d it's coming to a sharp point so d is instantly discarded apart from that if we see option c it does not have this small gap structure over here the small rectangular gap which is shown on the front plane here it has directly only one edge so this means this sort of uh, rising triangular shape is going just to one point and there is no horizontal or this rectangular gap which is shown in the front over here this top rectangle so option c also gets discarded and if we see the side view for option b we need to have a slope but this is straight so option b also gets discarded so as you guys said option a is the correct answer Let's go to question number 19. B. Okay, we have one answer. B. B. Okay, so it looks like everyone is saying B. Immediately we can see that the side view is not followed over here. There is no complete square in this at all. So this gets instantly discarded. So A is discarded instantly. Then we see B and C. C the back is closed. But front view is saying I don't want anything at the back. Back should be completely open. So that means C is not following the front view. So C also will get discarded. A also is not following the front view. Front view is saying I want this top part to be completely open. A also is blocked only option which is keeping this back part open and obeying the front view is b so b becomes the correct answer as you guys mentioned let's move on to 20 so we're coming towards the end of the series that we have done right now so total i think of 30 are there let me just check that out yeah i think 30 so we were on number 20 right now yeah D. Okay, we have one saying D. Let us confirm it. D. Okay, so both saying D. So if we see immediately the front view, we are looking for a opposite L. Here we have opposite L, check mark, opposite L, 
opposite L. So these three are okay as of now. Here we have norm normal L. So immediately discard option A because it's opposite. Next we have this one. We need two of these blocks the top view saying. Here there's only one block. So and the two blocks have to be separate because look at these lines. Two separate blocks have to be there. So this is not going to work and this also is not going to work this has made one complete sloping structure over here and this has made only one block so the correct answer left is option d now we go to 21 what we have to choose here front view top view or side view uh let me just go ahead and check that out here we have given we have been given the thing whichever is wrong yeah because it looks like some views are wrong so it could be find the incorrect view so which view is then incorrect d. it's d okay so everyone says d because this option C, you can immediately see over here, correct? From the front, if I look, I'm just going to get a H shape, which is what I see in option A. And at the same time, option B also, uh, I'm going to get this sort of st structure if I look from the top. So the only option left, which is not correct, is option B. I mean, not B, D, D, D. So D is the wrong answer. So we have to select that one. So basically odd one out, whichever one is the odd one and wrong is what we have to select. So now we are on question number 22. So first in your mind, you have to think about what is the front view, side view, top view. Mostly, if you're looking at it from this direction, it is going to be front. If you're looking at it from this direction, it's going to be side. And if you're looking from this direction, it's going to be top. But it might change in case they twist the question or the part is rotated. But by default, it is how I said. It's a. Okay, we have one saying a. Option C. So we have two answers A and C. Let's wait for one more option answer. C. Okay, so we get option C. So immediately, let's see what is option D. Option D is saying that you see an additional square, which, which means it's saying some sort of masala is going on over here, which is what we see over here. The cutout is there, which means this is okay. And this is also just showing us this cutout, which means option D is safe. It's correct. Here, if we look from the top view, this is also showing us this cutout. And here we have a line, which means something is there over here. When we confirm it, yes, there is a cutout, which is what this line is showing, the start of the cutout. So this also is fine. From the side view, it's again showing us two lines, which means something is there here, something is there over here, which is this cutout. And from here, we have this sort of step. So this is also showing correctly. The only thing which is not showing correctly, finally, is going to be option. Let me just check. Uh, A, because one second, why is this stuck? Now it's back to normal. So A is showing us this and this, but here there's a slight difference between A and C. The top, we can see the uh, sort of step. So imagine you're standing over here and if you're looking at the model and you look at the model from here, you can see the step uh, difference, which is what we see over here. But if I'm standing over here, I cannot see this immediately. I'll first see this flat area, which is what C is showing completely flat because this inside part is hidden, but this is showing the hidden part as well, which is not what we want to see. We just want to see what is the first thing that we will see. So here it's going to be a completely solid thing. And here it's again showing us the line because this is what you're going to see the first thing the, the uh, step starts immediately so from here immediately the step starts so we will see this part but this is hidden inside because of this small mass before that so because of that option c will be correct because it doesn't show us the uh, thing which is hidden from us 
because it's hidden at the back of this but if i'm standing here i will only see this part so this is what my side view should have looked like but it has this line over here because immediately the step starts so option c is going to be the correct answer so i think it's option a option a no the yes. prob the problem is you have you have to put it there uh, which one is the wrong oh okay 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 so we have to not say the correct we'll say the wrong one yeah yeah so option a is the wrong one correct 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 so uh, so this one is satisfying so that is not what we select i got confused for a second thinking you have to get the correct one out of a and c so a is not a view which means that is what we have to select so this is the odd one out because option c is possible in the image so that's why option a is the odd one out which is what we have to tick mark or select okay so question number 23 now b <clears throat> okay we have one answer you said d or b option b b okay it's b, b. okay one more said b but someone said d as well so let us go ahead and check it out so if i look at this from the front part i'm going to see this flat rectangle i'm going to see this top sort of semi pentagon cut in half or something b there and at the same time d is showing us this sort of line which is telling us that something is happening over here which is this slice so d is possible so we can leave that alone the side view from c again we see that we have this l shape coming then it's saying something is happening over here which is this diagonal line and it's saying something is happening over here which is this diagonal cut out so c also is possible top view if we see this line is saying that something is happening which is this peak happening and this is sliced off so a also is correct so the incorrect one is b which is what we have to select any issues with this one no issues okay no issues let's move on to question number 24 D. Okay, let's wait for others. It's D now. Okay, so immediately you see that this are showing us are ninety degree angles everywhere, nice and sharp. But this is showing us this slight thin or narrow to broader base sort of a thing, which is not seen over. This is a normal inverted T shape. So option D is the wrong one so this is the one that we have to select is the odd one out now we move on to question number 25 c okay so we have one person saying c yeah it's c the same c okay same c okay So let's go ahead and discuss it. So let's look at B. If I look from the top, what will I get? This is a simple rectangle, and then this sort of trapezium is fitted over there. So option B is possible. So we can leave that alone. If I look at this from the front, what will I get? I will get these two small rectangular pieces, and I will get these back broader lines, and I will get these front narrow lines. So this also is the back broader lines. These two are the uh these narrow lines on the front part so from the side also i'm getting the same thing this is going to be my side view now if i look from the front what will i get i will get this small cube and this massive thing as a rectangular shape so do i see that over here we do see that we have uh here we have this okay and we have this but can i rotate this in such a way that i can get this is the question because i can look at it from this side and i can look at it from this back side also so if i can look at it on the back side means i can just take this and i can turn it 180 degrees to get this view which is going to be this small thing is going to come on this side when i rotate it 180 degrees which is what they have done over here 
So you need to check in all possible views if you're getting this. So this is the direction is what we have taken. But in the direction of this, we can keep it as it is or rotated 180 degrees, which is what when we do, we will get this. But look at the slight difference between A and D. The difference between A and D is here, these small blocks are cutting over here and here they are kept just at the side. So are these small blocks cutting over here? We can see that they are cutting. If they were kept at the side, then they would be over here, starting over here. But they are going inwards and they are intersecting with the trapezium. So that's why this is what is happening. They are going inwards and they are intersecting. So option A also is correct. So the final option which is incorrect is going to be option D because these should have been slightly intersecting as you see this uh, they're going inward. They're getting larger and larger, but here they're just shown as straight rectangles. So that wouldn't be correct. Uh, let's go to question number 26. B. Okay, we have one answer. Option B. Okay. So if everyone's saying B, let's go ahead and verify from the top view. When we see, we will see this small additional part. So A is safe. From the front view, when we see this entire thing, this flat and this medium size, uh, sort of, you know, same continuation of that slice off will be seen as a T shape. And this small straight at the bottom will be this small thing. So this also is confirmed to be the front view. And from the side, if I look, I'll be getting this shape and then this small trapezium. So that is this shape over here, which D is showing. And this small thing also is shown over here. So D also is possible. So the only thing which is going to be not possible is option B because it is not showing us any cut or anything. It is saying it's a solid wall. So it is saying this shape is continuing all the way away, but it's not continuing because this step is there, which is what this line is mentioning. But here there is no line. So B will also be the uh, incorrect uh, view, which is exactly what we have to select. So 26, we'll have to mark B. So now we go to 27. Option D. Okay. Option D. So let's have a look at this. So when we look at this, we see that this should have given us also this small additional piece in this view, but that is missing over here. Just saying it is cutting straight, but it is not cutting straight. It is cutting at a diagonal, which is shown over here. It is saying it is stopping here. And then the small piece that you're looking over here as a rectangle is this view, the small sort of, you know, uh, diagonal cut. When we look at it from this view, we'll be looking just like this. Top view also looks correct, showing us the diagonal cut. And the side view also is showing us that you will have this rectangle. Here, this diagonal is going to be looking like a square from the side. And this part also looks normal, the back part. So the wrong one is going to be option uh, D because D is not showing this small additional line, which says that this is having a smooth sort of slanted cut. It's saying it's a straight cut, which is not seen over here. So option D is the wrong one. So this is what we have to mark for this question number 27. So now we move on to question number 28. B. Okay, we have one person saying B. Option number B. It's B. Okay, so everyone says B. So we can confirm that. Here we have sort of a wider to narrow thing take uh, taking place which is what is seen over here so d is a clear c we can directly see same part here and here is matching so side view is matching c is also clear and since we have this becoming narrow to broad from here to here you can see these four lines so this wider opening is going to be the broader part and inside we see the narrow part so that's why the top view also will check out but here this is not showing that this is saying the same uh, cutout which is there is of even base and even top which is not possible in this one because we have this taper going on. So that's why option B is the wrong one which is what we have to select. 
okay and then we have question number 29 let me zoom in a bit yeah a okay person saying a okay so immediately when we see from the side view we see that it says there's a line which means something is happening which is this cut out so c is checking out when we look from the top it says this line over here which is this sort of uh, slanted piece over here and this line is not touching the edges slightly before and this is also slightly before where the slanted edge is stopping so that means d also is no issues when we look at this from the side view from this view like here i will see these two side rectangular pieces and in the middle this slope will be looking like a rectangle so b also checks out but this one will not check out because look at this this is saying that from here we have a straight steep cut vertical cut but we have this slant which is shown over here by this black line so that's why a is not possible in this so that is what we have to select as the odd one out okay now we come to the last question b okay so we have option d as one person is saying b b b for boy dog dog okay dog so everyone option is saying d. option d only so if we have a look at it from the uh, front view it's saying that it has to be flat and then here it is saying that it is not fully uh, cut open because look at this line here at the top it's saying it is closed which means it's saying that this cut is not going all the way at the back it is stopping somewhere in the middle but we see this is going all the way to the top i mean all the way passing through which is shown in option b so that is why option d has to be discarded as a wrong answer and since it is the wrong answer that is exactly what we have to select because we are selecting the odd one out okay so that's the end of the questions now what i can do is maybe open up the cad platform back again and just show you the conversions that take place so like when you look at a cylinder from the side and the top what does it look like when you look at a rectangle what does it look like etc and when you look at those slope parts what does it look like so let me quickly go ahead and make a cylinder over here okay so cylinder when i look at it from the front side i'm just getting a rectangle what i can do is i can make one more change now it's better so if you see right now the same cylinder when i look at it like this it becomes a rectangle here it's looking a square because my cylinder is slightly short let me just make it longer so that there's no confusion okay now there should be no confusion yeah so the same cylinder when i look at it from the uh, side gives me a rectangle and the same cylinder when i look at it like this it will give me a uh, circle so if i see a circle and if i see a cylinder uh, if i see a rectangle on the other view that means i actually have a cylinder so if i see a circle this way and if i see on the other view a exact rectangle that means actually you have a cylinder then the next thing is going to be let's say you have a rectangle only so if we have a rectangular box like this and if i have a large rectangle on one side and then if i have a smaller square or rectangle on the other side that means in reality i actually have this sort of cuboid shape object now let me just go ahead and add that slope over here so i'm just going to add a small slope right here to this point okay. 
close this, complete this line. Okay, now I have this slope taking place. So if I look at it from the side, the slope looks like a, uh, wait, where is it gone? <clears throat> yeah, so if I look at it from the side, the slope looks like this. I can see the slope taking place nicely. But the moment I start bringing it this view, which is looking at the slope straight, how the slope is, you can see the slope starts to look like a square. So the view that they give us is actually this view, which is saying uh, hidden lines view. Uh, wait, where is it? I think this one. So the moment we go over here, we see it as a square. Here we see it as the slope as it is. And from the top, the slope will look like a small additional gap. Like So if, if we see, for example, it is saying that it stops like this completely. That means it's actually stopping straight like this. But if the view from the top is saying that it has a small additional excess part, it can mean that that small excess part is either a slope or it can be even just a small step over here. That can be confirmed from this view. So this is the shape you'll have to look to confirm whether that small excess that you see over here, this part, whether this part is a slope or whether it is just a step that you can confirm from here. Over here, if you see, for example, if you see this and if you see this, it means it's the slope. But over here, if you see like this, followed by like this, like this and like this, then it's pretty obvious this is actually a step and not a slope. So these are some of the things that you'll have to pay in uh, mind when uh, getting these things done. So any other questions you guys can ask now. Can you brief us on psychometry? Yeah, yeah. so for psychometry, the thing is there are uh, multiple types of exams which can be asked. So for me, I had the MMPI-2. And it was like a four on uh, almost 370 question uh, exam. But for Anglo and stuff, they use a different exam, which was only around 298. So what I'll do is I'll have a separate session where we can explain the different types of exams and what they are trying to, you know, get from you and how to answer those, etc. So if you do it now only, then it might be, you know, not complete and you might get additionally confused. So I'll do it in a, in a separate session. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions regarding today's thing? If not, we can wind it up. No. Okay then. Bye guys.